Today's video features footage from our recent Japan trip that we took towards the end of April, so we just were able to catch a few of the cherry blossoms. So we started off our trip by flying out of SFO to land at Narita Airport and that in total was an 11 hour flight and here's some footage before we land at Narita Airport. Now Narita is around a one hour subway ride out of Tokyo so it's not too inconvenient and here's just a little bit more footage of those fields. So the first hotel we stayed at was a Sheraton Miyaka Hotel in Tokyo, Japan. The Sheraton Miyako Hotel also has a beautiful on-site garden as I will show you in the footage here. There's many stairs leading upwards towards a short hiking path. I wouldn't really call it hiking but it's definitely will give you the Japan vibe. As you can see the maple trees are blooming and they have these Buddhist elements. If you take your time walking it will probably last you around 20 to 25 minutes it's not that large but it's a quite nice place to relax and that's crazy that it's on site at the Sheraton Miyako. Here we are at the main lobby area and we're just going to be heading upstairs to our room so I'll show you a bit of that. I will have to say that while this hotel does have a few Japanese elements such as the garden, not everything is very Japan, so I guess it has an Americanized feel as well, so it's something quite familiar that we were coming to. One of the best features of this hotel is its proximity to the subway, and this is right off the Meguro Station stop, and it's a quick ride away from Harajuku, and in a few moments I'll be showing you Takashita Street and the famous subway station as well, so stay tuned for that. So during our first day in Japan, we went to none other than Harajuku, and most specifically Takashita Street, where you'll find quite a bit of reasonably priced, on-trend Japanese fashion as well as some really cheap cosmetic stores and basically anything that's budget friendly will be on this street. So this was my first glimpse into the authentic Japanese fashion and most specifically Harajuku fashion as we all know from the Gwen Stefani song, Harajuku Girls, this is where it all originated from. So the store we're currently at is called Wonder Rocket and as the name suggests there is a huge rocket in the middle of the store and as you can see those two skirts on the far left are actually the ones that I purchased. I would say it's close to impossible to go to Japan and not want to have some takoyaki. So this takoyaki we bought and it was only $5.50 and it was seriously the best takoyaki I've ever had because it's crunchy on the outside, it's soft on the inside and that's exactly how they should be. So this crepe shop was highly popular, it's called Santa Monica Crepes in Harajuku once again and most of the crepes are around $5.50 to $6.00 so very reasonably priced. So as you can see at the cash register our total came out to $5.40 so that's definitely a few dollars cheaper than buying it in the US of course. So we got the green tea crepe with cheesecake chunks on the top. For breakfast in Harajuku we just had to stop by a Yoshinoya and they have rice bowls starting from $3.30 and as you can see there's a tiny efficient kitchen where they cook right in front of you and here we ended up ordering a gyudon which is a beef rice bowl and as you can see our total came out to $5.50 so what a steal. As you may know, Japan has no shortage of cute character themed cafes and Pom Pom Pier and Cafe in Harajuku is where we stopped off for a quick light lunch and as you can see the decor is really great for photo opportunities and it's definitely something that you won't see elsewhere or at least in the states where I'm from you don't see these sort of cafes which I think are really ingenious ideas. So 
So here we have a pom pom purin themed taco salad complete with a little mushroom hat and a bowl of rice. And here we have a traditional curry complete with pom pom purin's face on it. So now we move on to the more hipster, if you will, district of Harajuku and this basically starts from Takashita Street. If you follow that all the way down, you're going to be hitting these stores. We make our first stop at the Bape store, which is actually three levels. So here we are on the first level and I'm trying to discreetly film as you can see. As you know, Bape originated in Japan, so the prices will be at retail, which is kind of a rare thing because in LA, they mark up the retail at least 30% depending on how exclusive an item is and if even it's hard to get your hands on it. So if you're a fan of Bape, definitely go to Japan to do some damage. So now we venture onto Omotesando Avenue in Tokyo, which actually features Dior's first store in Japan. Ichiran Ramen is a highly popular ramen shop throughout Japan, most famously known for their tonkatsu ramen. Usually they have long lines, but as you can see we got lucky because we're coming during an off hour, so we don't have much of a wait. So to order, we select from the machines and you can customize according to your preference and of course you pay beforehand as well. Now here we are at the waiting room, as you can see there's the menus and there's this little thing on the wall which designates once the seats are open. Practically everything is customizable down to the flavor strength, richness, noodles texture, spice, etc. And here we are still waiting. <laughs> One of the merits of this restaurant is the privacy that they give you because you are surrounded on either side by wooden partitions and even the server doesn't get to see your face. So the goal is that you can eat in privacy and really focus on the food without outside distractions. Each individual stall has their own water dispenser so that's great to counteract the saltiness of the ramen. Ichiran doesn't diversify their menu, but rather they focus on their tonkatsu ramen, which is hands down the best ramen I've ever had. Shibuya is known as one of Japan's most famous shopping districts. It surrounds the Shibuya station, which is one of Tokyo's busiest railway stations. This area is known as one of the fashion centers of Japan, particularly for young people Shibuya 109 is a famous department store located in Shibuya. It is operated by Tokyo Mall Development. It was opened in April of 1979, and actually the name of the building 109 is a form of wordplay coming from the Japanese characters To, meaning 10, and Ku, which means 9, as in Tokyo. The interior of the building is designed to move shoppers in the loop on each floor from the elevators past various shops. A movie theater was originally planned for the top floor, but the fire department would not grant approval due to emergency evacuation routes not meeting appropriate standards. Shibuya is famous for its scramble crossing. It is located in front of the Shibuya station and stops vehicles in all directions to allow pedestrians to inundate the entire intersection. So we're at the Imperial Palace with a lot of cherry blossoms. Look at all that. The Tokyo Imperial Palace is the primary residence of the Emperor of Japan. It is a large park-like area located in the Chiyoda Ward of Tokyo and contains buildings including the main palace, the private residences of the Imperial family, an archive, museums, and administrative offices. If you are interested in visiting the site, you will be happy to know that admission is free and as you can see here, we are entering through the east entrance. The total area, including the gardens, is 1.32 square miles. During the height of the 1980s Japanese property bubble, 
The palace grounds are valued by some to be more than the value of all of the real estate in the state of California. There is a large park area surrounded by moats and massive stone walls as you can see here. Akihabara is a district of the Chiyoda Ward of Tokyo, Japan. Akihabara gained the nickname Akihabara Electric Town shortly after World War II for being a major shopping center for household electronic goods in the post-war black market. Nowadays, Akihabara is considered by many to be an otaku cultural center and a shopping district for video games, anime, manga, and computer goods. Icons from popular anime and manga are displayed prominently on the shops in the area and numerous made cafes are found throughout the district. So here we arrive at yet another theme cafe. Today we're going to the Gundam Cafe located on the outskirts of Asakusa. They have light food options but today we're just here for some coffee. The Isitan department store located in Shinjuku, Japan is comprised of seven stories and accounts for the highest sales in all department stores in Japan. Kabuki Cho is an entertainment and red light district in Shinjuku, Tokyo, Japan. It is the location of many host and hostess clubs love hotels, shops, restaurants, and nightclubs. The district's name comes from late 1940s plans to build a kabuki theater. Although the theater was never built, the name stuck. The Otoro. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Ginza is a popular upscale shopping area of Tokyo with numerous internationally renowned department stores, boutiques, restaurants, and coffee houses located in its vicinity. Many leading fashion houses flagship stores are located here, in the area with the highest concentration of western shops in Tokyo. Asakusa is a district in Taito, Tokyo, Japan, famous for the Sensoji, which is a Buddhist temple. Asakusa Shrine, also known as Sanja Sama, Shrine of the Three Gods, is one of the most famous Shinto shrines in Tokyo, Japan. The shrine honors the three men who founded the Sensoji. Asagusa Shrine is part of a larger grouping of sacred buildings in the area. It can be found on the east side of the Sensoji, down a street marked with a large stone tori. When you visit temples and shrines in Japan, one of the first things you might notice is the fact that they all seem to have a small stone fountain with ladles perched on top. These are called chozoya. People use them to purify themselves with water before going inside the temple or shrine. The chozoya is typically made of stone with a wooden triangular roof and a decorative spout that leads into a pool of water. There will be several wooden or metallic ladles over the pool of water. Even the smallest shrines or temples usually have a chozuya. Another means of purifying oneself before visiting the temple is through the use of the jokoro. The jokoro is a large incense burner Incense burners were brought to Japan from China at the end of the Sengoku era, which was a feudal period about 400 years ago. It is one of the articles used on a Buddhist altar to purify the body of the people visiting the temple. Since then, people came to believe that the smoke from the incense burner has a healing effect. So here we're going to try a famous Japanese street food dessert which is basically mochi on a stick covered with peanut flour and the price is only 330 yen which translates to about $3.30 USD and they do serve it in this little bag so it's perfect for walking around and enjoying all the sights in Asakusa. Thank you.